Once upon a time in a faraway village surrounded by tall green mountains, there was a very smart old man named Master Wu. He was famous for being able to concentrate really well, better than anyone else in the village. People from far away came to ask him for advice and wisdom about different things, and he was always happy to help them. One day, a young villager named Li Wei, who was very curious, went to talk to Master Wu. Li Wei wanted to know how Master Wu could stay so focused even when there were lots of things happening around him. Li Wei had noticed that Master Wu could pay attention to something, like a task or thinking deeply, for a long time without getting distracted by other stuff. Li Wei said to Master Wu, I'm amazed by how well you can stay focused. How do you keep your mind clear and not get bothered by all the noise and mess around us? Master Wu smiled kindly at Li Wei and asked him to sit down next to him. Li Wei, he said, being able to focus isn't something only a few lucky people have. It's a skill you can learn and get better at over time. Li Wei listened carefully as Master Wu started to tell a story from a long time ago. Master Wu told Li Wei about a temple in the mountains where monks lived and tried to find peace and understanding. Among these monks, there was one named Kano who had trouble staying focused. He would get distracted easily by sounds like leaves rustling, birds chirping, and other monks talking. Feeling frustrated, Kano asked the wise leader of the temple, Abbot Chen, for help. Abbot Chen listened to Kano and smiled. He said, Kano, the secret to getting better at focusing isn't to ignore the world around you, but to pay attention to it in a special way. Kano was confused and asked, But Abbot Chen, how can I focus when there are so many distractions? The abbot gave Kano a small stone and told him to keep it with him all the time. Whenever Kano felt his mind wandering, he should hold the stone and really look at it. He should feel its roughness, its weight, and its temperature, and try to be completely in that moment with the stone. Kano did what the abbot said. Whenever he felt distracted, he would take out the stone and focus on it. He realized that even though the world around him was still there, he could find a calmness inside himself even when things were busy. As time passed, Kano got better at focusing, and people admired him for his ability to concentrate. He learned that true focus wasn't about ignoring the world, but about being present in the moment. Li Wei, said Master Wu, just like Kano, you need to accept the world around you. Instead of trying to avoid distractions, acknowledge them and gently bring your focus back to what's important. With practice and patience, you'll find that your mind becomes clearer and calmer, and you'll get better at focusing. Li Wei thanked Master Wu for his wise words and left determined to work on his focus. He kept Master Wu Yu's teachings with him and, with time and effort, he became really good at focusing, just like the wise old man who had inspired him. And so, the ancient wisdom continued to help people learn how to focus and find peace for many generations to come.